hole or something. <laughs> and just, just punch at him that way, you know what I mean? <laughs> just to give him like a, a, a fair chance, you can put ankle weights on my ankles. You can put ankles, so you, you slow down my feet. You can tie this hand behind my back. And then uh, you can put like something here so that I can't keep my chin down either. So I can keep my chin up. So that way it gives him a good target to hit, you know? And then, uh, and then you just have my left hand. Fuck does he think he's gonna scare in a boxing ring? I mean, I'll put the camera guy against him, it'll be competitive in a boxing ring. <laughs> put him in with a guy like me, a two-time world champion. It, it, it's still laughable, it, it's comical. Like, I, I would laugh my way through the whole fight, I really would. Hello. I guess it was right when I called on Polly for not telling the truth. I did not know if it was a knockdown, but I guess it was, further reaffirming that Polly does not tell the truth. Polly's saying it was a pushdown even when you can hear the sound of glove echoing off his head or the collapse. You know, this just proves he's just a good talker. He was brought in to be punished for everything he said, and by the end of it, he told a convincing sob story to Ariel Halwanian, and he fooled a lot of people doing so. It's his character, as I pointed out. He made part of his career out of being able to spout exaggerated trash, and when it comes to playing the victim, he can use his mouth to do that all the same. Think of it this way. If he actually beat Connor, which obviously did not happen, he would have been talking so much trash about him, saying he had no place in the boxing ring. But he was clearly humbled, as I pointed out. We didn't see the whole fight, but I trust Connor when he says it and not Polly, because this further proved my theory that Polly only says things that favor him, whilst being willing to actually skew the truth to do so. You think Connor does the same? Watch how he reacts when Nate Diaz beats him in their first fight. Can you describe the emotions after a loss like that? You know, it stings, it stings real bad, but this is the fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life and I've rose back, so I will not shy away from it. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and then uh, come back. This is a humble man who sees this as an opportunity to get better and grow. Not making any excuses, not lying about the truth, just looking to come back better. And he did. He definitely evolved from the experience. This is his character. This is who he is. He spouts truth talk and then in victory or defeat, he is humble, which he proves even with Jose Aldo. So, let's go back a bit. If he wasn't wearing headgear, the way those shots were echoing off cranium, there's a good chance Polly would have been knocked out then and there. Let's now analyze the sequence leading up to the knockdown. Connor slips to the outside of Polly's cross and then punts him with a jab, which triggers Polly to duck. Connor calmly follows up with his left, and at this point, Polly has no vision, and Connor knows this. From this duck position, off balance, nor with capacity for footwork, Connor momentarily holds Polly's head down in that imbalanced position with a light punch as his lead foot steps to the outside of Polly's lead foot, clocking him with a jab. Then he follows up with a cross, transitioning to rest with his forearm, then releasing last moment as he follows up with his left, rocking Polly to the ground. Legitimate knockdown. That's actually something Floyd does a lot. Holding his opponent in position with the forearm, then releasing last moment as the other hand follows up. It's also similar to how Anthony Joshua devastated Klitschko. Klitschko ducked the lead hook, but Anthony Joshua transitioned to hold Klitschko's head down with forearm, releasing last moment before the uppercut made contact. This may seem dirty, but it is legal. Anyone who does study boxing will notice he is doing something Floyd is known for, and using it against him in a way that would actually take advantage of Floyd's similar way of head movement. So again, Pauly talked tremendous trash, was brought in for it, punished, and he was humbled yet unable to accept the truth, making up a sob story. I pointed out he has a character of talking trash in exaggerated fashion, rationally derived he probably actually lost if he was speaking so humble, and it turns out I was right. He lied about the pushdown, I can confidently say he lied about even coming close to winning. Honestly. If someone you know said horrible things about you, and both of you decided to fight because of it, you beat them up, yet they acted like it wasn't even close, even skewing the truth about what actually happened, how would you feel about anything that person had to say afterwards? I hold no hate towards Polly, no emotion really. I wish him the best in life. I know he's getting a lot of heat because of this, thus part of me, it actually feels for him, but nonetheless. I'll always try my best to tell the truth, to the best of my ability. 
I'm not perfect. Some of you may think I'm biased, but honestly, I try my best to be objective. And in this instance, I was right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like.